In this video, I'm going to show you how to format your ebook for Kindle using Microsoft Word. Learning these techniques will just take two minutes, but applying them will take more than that. So feel free to pause and watch the video to slowly master this craft. Hello everyone, this is Arun from Tech Library TV. This is going to be a really short video and we are going to see all about styles, indented paragraphs, paragraph marks, page breaks and table of contents. These are the five key ingredients for any Kindle ebook to be looking good and professional when it comes to self-publishing on Amazon's KDP platform. Uh, so let's get started. First thing is we are going to, I have a raw document, Word document in front of me right now, which is what we are going to use uh, to see how to do all of the five things that we just spoke about. Uh, in order to create styles, all we have to do is click on the heading that we want to convert into a title. Go to the home and under the styles group, click on title. That's it. And that will take care of uh, converting the formatting for any of the title elements that you have inside your book. Uh, mostly we just have one title for a book. So this is going to be taken care of this. But in case now we have all these other uh, uh, headings that we are going to convert into table of contents later in this video. But before that, we'll want to convert the uh, headings into uh, h1 tags and h2 tags accordingly to do that i'm going to click on this character and then select heading one and the next thing is about theme heading one again and do that for all the other uh, headings once it's all done this will help us in converting the uh, table of contents uh, automatically once this is done, all we have to do now is to make sure the paragraphs look good. For that, it should look like this. We should not use any tab key to indent the paragraphs automatically. That's wrong and even it looks very bad on the Kindle when it's published. So what we want to do is again create one more, uh, one more uh, um, style for this purpose. So I'll click on uh, uh, this tiny drop down button and then create a new style by going here. Uh, call it uh, let's say paragraph or para for short and then make changes that I want to do here for which I'll select this box automatically update add it to quick style list click on this format drop down and say paragraph and under indentation group under the special drop down and select the first line and then make this into 0 0.3 and say okay twice that's it and we can get this closed uh, you'll see that the indentation is automatically taken care of and if you want to convert any other paragraph in your document into the indented paragraph just click on that and select the para that we have just created here the style group this got added here because we checked that box to add it to the quick styles group that's all about indented paragraphs the next thing that we want to see is to find out any hidden formatting that we have here uh, and we can do that by clicking on uh, this paragraph mark it it shows all the hidden uh, formatting symbols so that it looks uh, neater on our book you see here i have given just enter keys over here and a paragraph uh, marks to create another page but that's not correct in order for this to work uh, we will uh, insert a page break to get this done and before that let me clear out all these extra spaces and delete them by hitting on the delete key on my keyboard and then go to the insert menu say page break you'll see that this automatically creates a pay, uh, moves this uh, first chapter to the next page by inserting a page break and we are able to see this page break symbol here because i have activated this uh, show or hide uh, symbols formatting symbols so when i am deactivating this this will no longer be visible but if you want to see it again just hit on toggle this button and now that is done we want to move every chapter into new pages so i'm going to insert page breaks for every chapter over here and that's it so once this is done now all we have left is to create the table of contents for which i'm going to select uh, i'll uh, now we don't need this because the headings will be automatically converted into table of contents so i'll delete that and uh, insert a new page before my title uh, i also want to make this title centered so i'm going to go into the title right click and modify my existing style and select it into the middle uh, alignment say okay so that this looks good 
and on the first page i'm going to uh, on the first page i'm going to create the table of contents by going to the references tab table of contents group click on the table of contents insert table of contents and here i don't want to show page numbers because page numbers are not going to be shown on kindle and uh, uh, for which we'll have to uncheck this and let's say use hyperlinks instead of page numbers under format select simple and we want to make sure that the levels are three so that uh, heading one two three all the three heading tags are shown if you want to decrease that you can just say heading one and two and for this purpose i'm going to just say one i'll say okay so the table of contents are going to be displayed on my first screen so when i hit the control button on the keyboard and click on it it's going to take me automatically to the chapter and this works really well on the kindle book once published too that's all we have about quick formatting tips for uh, self-publishing ebook on amazon kdp using uh, microsoft word thanks for watching and please do subscribe and give a like to this video if you really if it really helped you Thank you.